Welcome back to Blender Daily. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can use random transformations to make your renders look a lot more natural. Let me show you. Okay, so to show how the random transformation works in Blender I prepared the simple demo scene with just a stack of cards. Now this already looks pretty good, however I don't think it looks realistic at all. Because if you take a close look at those cards, you can see that they are just stacked perfectly on top of each other, which would never happen in real life. So to improve this, let's just give each of the cards a bit of random rotation to make this look a lot more natural. And in order to do so, we can just select all the cards, then go up to Object, Transform, and right here you should find the Randomize Transform option. This should open up in the bottom left corner, so let's click on it and here you can see all the options that we now have. Okay, so let's just start off by randomizing the set rotation. So if I bring this value up, you can see that each of the cards gets a random rotation on the set axis. And the higher I bring this value, the more extreme this will be. However, in this case, I want to keep it subtle, so I'm going to leave this at the value around 5 degrees. If you want, you could also randomize the X and Y rotations. However, in this case, this doesn't make any sense at all. So let's bring this back down to zero degrees. But what we can do is also randomize the position of the cards. So let's just give it a very small value on the X and Y axis, just to offset those cards a little bit. Again, the set axis doesn't make any sense in this case. So let's bring it down to zero. And the last option that we have is to also randomize the scale. However, this doesn't make any sense for the cards because this is gonna distort it. And we want all the cards to have the same size. So let's bring this back to one. And now you can see that this already looks a lot more realistic than what we had before. And if you want to, you can get a few different variations of the randomization by playing around with this random seed value until you get uh, an option that you like. And I think the offset on the X and Y axis is a bit too much. So I'm just gonna bring this back down to a smaller value. And once you're happy with it, simply close it up and click away. And now this transformation is applied to all of our cards. Okay, so here's another scene that I prepared. And as you can see, I just put a lot of plants onto this plane. However, this doesn't look very natural at all because you can clearly see the grid that they are aligned to and you can also see repetitions in the plants because I used the same assets multiple times in this scene. So to make this look a bit more organic, let's just select all the plants. Then again, go up to Object, Transform and choose Randomize Transform. Then let's open this up and first of all, I want to randomize the locations of these objects. So let's play around with the X and Y location. And this already makes it look a lot more natural. So here's the difference, what we had before and after. Maybe we can make this even a bit stronger. And again, in this case, the set location doesn't really make sense because we want all of them to be on the ground. So let's bring this back down to zero. Then we can also randomize the rotation. So this time we can bring the set rotation all the way up to 180 degrees so that we have complete randomness on the rotation. And we can also play around with the X and Y rotations so that not all of the plants are pointing straight upwards. And now this is starting to look a bit more natural. But this time we can also play around with the scale so that not all of the plants have the same size. So let's bring this up and as you can see, if I bring this up too much, the plants start to get distorted. Right here, this one becomes really flat. This one as well, which doesn't look natural at all. So to fix this, we can simply enable scale even, which is gonna scale the plants the same amount on each axis, which will avoid these distortions. And I think this is too much, so let's just bring this down to a value around 1.2, which is gonna look a lot more natural. And lastly, let's just play around with the random seed until we get the variation that we like. 
And I'm really happy with this one. So let's just apply the transformations and take a look at it. Of course, there are still gonna be repetitions because I use the same models multiple times. However, I think it looks a lot more natural than what we had before. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.